All right, third graders. So um, I finished uh, coloring my buildings, and it turns out I told you last week not to color the windows. Just color the windows like warm colors for the warm building, cool colors for the uh, cool buildings, okay? Now, regarding the sky, um, I if we were in school, we'd be mixing temper paint with white, blue with white, to make different tints of blue in the sky. Uh, our next best thing, if you happen to have watercolors, you can use watercolors to achieve the same thing. So you could take it and you can paint the squares, all right, with blue. Now what you can do is, so if I'm painting the square here, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And you can kind of use the, um, the set here to help you out. And I could then like make a bluish green, all right? And I could do maybe a uh, blue green over here. This one, it kind of looks the same as the other one I just painted, all right? And then I could even, if you want to make a lighter blue, all you have to do is add water and you can make a really light blue. I'm just waiting for this to dry before I go painting another color next to it. I can take this blue here that might be a little too dark and I could add some violet to it to make it kind of a blue violet and then I could paint like a bluish violet so that we get different colors all right in each square of blue different types of blues and then again if I wanted to make a I think a little bit more of a bluish green I could do that all right and i can go oh yeah that's good all right and i can do and make that now okay so that's for people that have watercolors at home you can paint the whole background uh with the different types of blue in the squares all right if you do not have um if you don't have watercolors this there's a couple of other options you can use all right so here, if saying I could use a colored pencil, all right, and what I could do is I could do a straight blue like this, right? And then maybe in the next square, take um, maybe if I have a slightly different blue, I could take it and I could also, same thing as with the watercolors, I could blend take like a green and I could make this like a bluish green by blending the colored pencils together all right so you could do that as well um blending different types of uh blues together with green or I could take this blue and I could color it again here like this all right. Outline it first before you color, of course. I think that would be a good idea. I'm rushing this as usual. So, and then I could even take like purple and I could color it. Yeah, and also if you want to make your squares, uh, you can press and make some squares a little darker and some squares a little lighter. All right. You want to have kind of light and darkness among your squares as well. All right. So that's for colored pencil, right? Or, again, if you take crayon, again, I'll use my crayons here, I could always take my crayon and kind of do the same thing. Remember, if you want it to be light, you just have to uh, color very, very lightly. All right, like this. And then again, if I want to do saying, I could take the same here, and then I could take um, a green, all right? And I could press a little harder and I could make kind of a, a bluish green in this square, okay? And then I could take this blue here. All right, like this. And then I could take a purple and go over the blue okay so depending on what you have available at home 
um, finish coloring your sky uh, for today. All right? Okay. Take care. Speak to you next week. Bye.